Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to Toy Hunters of Ross. I'm Diffney, and welcome to another quick review of an action figure. This time, I'm going to talk about McFarlane Toys Doom figure, uh, well, the Doom Slayer from the Doom video game. And I'm super excited to crack this open. I, it's the very first time I actually own a figure from the Doom series, so super excited that McFarlane took the license and see if they actually deliver so far I'm liking it because it says 22 moving parts which is equivalent to all those McFarlane uh, Fortnite figures and uh, of My Hero Academia and I just previously reviewed the um, Sub-Zero figure from Mortal Kombat also from McFarlane Toys so if you haven't watched that uh, review go into my channel and look it up it's right there um, if anything I'm probably gonna leave the the, the link and so you guys can check it out very very solid figure so far so let's crack this guy open and see what's up okay alrighty then right there you have him out of the package and he's looking really nasty really nice detail to the color and the sculpting throughout the actual figure it's really really neat they really outdid themselves on this figure everything has detail the, uh, the shoulder guards the forearms Everything, everything on the armor has details to it. And the paint, every single piece of it is painted and washed to give it that uh, rough look to it that he's actually been through a lot of stuff. And then I'm guessing this is based on the new model for the video game. Um, I forgot, uh, what is it called? Doom, uh, I forgot. But the new video game is going to come out. And then, because uh, he did not have this uh, attachment for on the previous video game. Oh yeah, Doom Eternal, there you go. And this is new. It's also articulated, which is very, very nice. And very cool. So it's adjustable and everything. So looking pretty cool there, Predator. So <laughs> nice throughout. He also came with this blade that's attached to the thing. It's a separate piece. See? And then you just attach it right there. It has an actual slot. And then you just attach it there. And then the boomstick. It's nicely colored, like a lot of attention to a single gun. If only a few companies out there could learn from this. See, it's not a single color. So you have your metallic paint, and then you have the hilt of the gun. Um, the, uh, I forgot what is it called, the handle. It has a wrap around, and it's also, also detailed in color. Then right here, uh, I forgot. I, I'm not very familiar with gun parts, but right here, the part where... You know, he's got a cock or something. It's also painted brown. And then this new attachment. I not, I'm not sure yet what, what it is, but it's nice, nice. It's a really nice addition to it. It's also painted separately. So, really nice attention to detail there. Very well done. And then if you look, look uh, at the figure itself, like the shoulder guards are also on a ball peg attached to the shoulder, so made out of two pieces give, uh, gives you a lot of movement. So that's very nice. And then the pouches, like everything has detail to it. I got, I gotta admit, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of McFarlane, given that I've never collected any of his old toys and, and stuff. But because they were so brittle, but now that he actually pay attention and he's trying to bring you art but also articulated art he's actually paying a lot of attention to detail on these characters and then making it feel almost seamless you know like if you move the figure it looks very nicely sculpted so it doesn't look apart you know he's not um, what is it that he said like surrendering detail uh, for articulation like he's giving you the best of everything so he's giving you the looks and articulation to the figure so it's a very very solid piece and I really really recommend it but right away let's take a look at the articulation right off the bat if we look at the head the head as previous uh, figures from McFarlane it's also uh, like a stick with two pegs uh, two ball pegs one attached to the head and one going into the chest so that way you have your your head bobbing see like that all the way up so he can look down he can look somewhat up you know, he can kind of make it seem like he has got some head bobbing, so that's pretty neat. The arms, 
that's the thing with McFarlane pieces is that he puts a lot of paint on them oops sorry therefore sometimes the joints get get like really tight like ridiculous tight so here goes the arms extend about that high nothing fancy and then obviously rotation to the whole arm there's no bicep swivel or rotation single jointed elbows the hands are on a uh, on a ball hinge so it gives you some range for up and down movement but you have to play around with it because everything is sculpted and then the gauntlet kind of gets on the way so that's that and then for the torso the torso is in a ball peg yeah it is a ball peg uh, kind of gives you somewhat of, of range so it's like like that to look up keep it up upright and of course for the hip the hip is also on a ball peg so you kind of have that sort of movement right there so you kind of have to like play around to have everything aligned see like that and then the legs he cannot kick very high then again he's never been you know limber and then the legs are supposed to be on a double no not a double but it's a single joint with a ratchet but he's got some uh, range to it that's nice and again see he's like if he's running he he doesn't look like he's breaking you know the the sculpting of the figure so that's that's good I don't believe he's got yeah he does not have any upper thigh or articulation whatsoever and then for the foot he's got that ball hinge as well but again you know all that armor gets in the way so not the greatest thing in the world but not the, the worst either so nonetheless he can stand up at least with or without his actual base which nice doom logo to it so that's it for the for the articulation and man I gotta tell you so far I love it and just for a quick comparison, uh, again, I'm trying to implement comparisons. I'm gonna put them next to the. Um, I'm gonna put them next to the new, uh, newly released uh, Sub Zero. Uh, he cannot stand up, so let me use your base here. That's our first scale. It's also like seven inches. So not bad. You can put them, put them up against any of your favorite characters. How come this guy hasn't been in Mortal Kombat? Interesting. Right? Anyway. That's another story for what if. But yeah, any, a, anyhow, I found this figure at GameStop alongside w with that Scorpion. And it was a very nice find because after that I just haven't seen them again. So I'm really glad I got to add this to my collection. It's very, very solid piece. Totally recommend it. Totally worth the $20 mark. So if you find it, uh, I would totally snack this. And after all, I do recommend it. Everything about it is really nice. Like the color, uh, the sculpting throughout all the body and the armor. And then the articulation as well. Anyway, as I was saying, totally recommend the figure. Although not every figure is 100% perfect. This one, you know, could have been so much better. And like, I don't, I don't know what happened to McFarland down the years, but they used to give a lot of guns, well, weapon rates to their characters, respectively. You know, if it was a spawn figure, it had a tons of freaking guns and everything uh, for the character. This is the Doom Slayer. You know, he's got to have at least what six to eight different guns. At least give us the BFG, the chainsaw, maybe. I mean, it's cool we got the, the sawed-off shotgun, but maybe the pulse rifle? I don't know. I could, I could keep going, but that's just my take. Maybe an extra set of hands, but I honestly don't think he needs some. Other than that, uh, my only beef is that. It could have been so much better if it actually had more guns. But nonetheless, a straight nine. I totally recommend it if you actually find it out there. It's a really cool figure to snag. Well, that's all for today, guys. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, as always, if you want to share the love, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. 
You are watching Toy Hunters R Us. I'm your host, Daphne, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.